Let's continue talking about the new health care law. We are joined now by Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius. And Kathleen, a lot of things to talk about. It's a serious issue. It was a big day for the administration. But I've got to ask you, you get one of those 20 pens uh, that the president <laughs> used to sign the bill. So what are sure. you going to do with it? <laughs> You're not sure. Oh, well, I don't know. He hasn't given the pens out yet. I think I, hopefully they'll go to some of the members of Congress who have literally worked on this for decades. Um, I wouldn't turn it down if it comes my way, but uh, I'm not expecting one. All right, let's 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 get to the serious issues, because uh, it was a very big day for the administration. The president spoke in front of a group of doctors today uh, at the Department of the Interior. I mean, what has been the response from uh, the nation's doctors about this legislation? Well, Carol, from the beginning, the uh, American Medical Association, the Association of Pediatric Doctors, the uh, College of Family Physicians have endorsed health reform, comprehensive health reform. They've been the first to acknowledge, along with the nurses and other health care providers, that the system is broken. It doesn't work well for doctors or their patients, uh, that uh, they wanted to change insurance rules. They wanted to provide coverage for all Americans. So they have been with us every step along the way. That's a very different dynamic than health care reform debates ever in the history of the United States. The docs think this is a good step forward. Mr. Secretary, I wonder if you're concerned about the constitutionality of this, because we just spoke with one of the now 14 attorneys general uh, suing on, on the grounds that this is unconstitutional. They bring up the Fifth Amendment. They bring up the Tenth Amendment. The Con Commerce Clause is most uh, often cited here. Are these uh, concerns real? Well, I certainly um, think that uh, the lawyers will be debating this. Uh, our attorneys and uh, scholars who have looked at this uh, feel very confident that um, the challenges will be met, that the federal government is well within its rights of uh, having a system of health care move forward for all Americans. And uh, I think that there's no question that every major piece of legislation, Social Security, the Voting Rights Act, the Civil Rights Act, were all challenged uh, as a, a measure of, uh, you know, the next step. When, when the voting battle was lost, then they go, go to the courts. And, you know, lawyers can decide this, but I'm very confident that the legal framework is sound. Let me ask you, though, Secretary Sebelius, because the, the issue that uh, Attorney General Mark Shurtleff uh, from Ohio brought up, you know, is, you know, what's next? Is the government going to mandate that you have car insurance, home insurance, you name it? I mean, this kind of takes it to a whole different level. Isn't this on kind of a, a different playing field, if you will? Well, you know, I was an insurance commissioner for eight years, Carol, and frankly, we do mandate those things. You can't drive a car unless you have car insurance in virtually every state in the country. You can't buy a house. You, you can't literally get a loan from a bank unless you show insurance coverage. Uh, we have people through their taxes who pay for Medicare, who pay for Social Security. What the president chose to do is, is really uh, have a private insurance model, not have a government take over of insurance, but work through the private market. So this is people actually uh, contributing to that private market and <laughs> moving forward. But Ms. we have lots of examples, I think, of, of you know, standards that the government sets for uh, uh, benefits moving ahead. Mr. Secretary, all, all due respect, you, you get to choose whether or not you want to drive before you're legally required to buy uh, auto insurance. This would seem to be the first case in which the federal government orders every citizen of the country to buy a product. Well, again, I think, Matt, uh, the lawyers can discuss the constitutional nature of this. As uh, the attorney general from Utah mentioned, you know, Massachusetts has moved forward with a very similar plan with a Republican governor signing it into law. I think that um, our lawyers feel it's on sound legal grounds. I think, though, we miss the point of the fact that uh, this is such a huge step for all Americans who have been in a situation where, frankly, the insurance companies got to pick who got coverage in this country and who didn't. That will no longer be the rule of the land. Every American will have access to affordable coverage. Got it, Mr. Secretary. Thank you so much for joining us. Sure. Uh, Secretary of Health and Human Services, Kathleen Sebelius.